Hey guys, how's it going? Recently, I've made a couple changes to my iPhone and I thought I would show you um, what I've done. So, if you can't see, at the bottom of my iPhone I have six apps instead of four, the traditional four, and the reason for that is because, well, those are the apps that I use the most. Um, these other apps up here I find fairly useful and I don't really use them as much as I do these six down here, but I decided to keep them around because I think um, I do happen to find them useful. But back here is where some other things take place. Here's where I have the folders for the rest of my apps besides these ones that I just haven't put into a folder. Um, the rest of my apps have been put in a folder by a program called Categories that you can download through the Cedia or Rock Store if you have an unlocked iPhone. And what it does is you just take your games or you, your utilities, social, whatever you want to make. You can make your own categories, create your own logos within the, within the categories application and um, put them on your iPhone desktop. And here are all my games that I have on my iPhone and I just, uh, you know, they, they launch up just like normal and it works perfectly. Another thing I actually discovered about this app, which is the reason why I'm making the video this morning, um, I saw I had seven new updates. And my all my games and all most of all my apps are put into these little folders. And when I downloaded the updates, I saw that I had a bunch of little games popping up for the updates. One of them happened to be Flick Fishing. And um, I was like, man, I'm gonna have to put those games back into the folder. Nope, as soon as uh, it got done updating the apps, they went right in, right back into their folders. Um, so I'm gonna create a folder here for you guys and show you what, you know, what it's like. So you open up the categories app, you hit add, and we're gonna type in camera. Oops. Or actually, we'll, yeah, we'll type in camera. So now I got camera, and it's gonna load a series of icons that I can use for my camera icon. And this thing's got a plethora of them. Um, more icons than I really care to see, to be honest. But it doesn't limit you to anything, and I believe you can create your own icon. So just for the time being, I'm gonna create camera. Let's see if we can find a good one for camera. That one's a good one. All right, so now it has camera in there, and it has zero because I have no applications from camera, or I have no applications in my camera folder. So to go in my camera folder and add applications, I can check them like this. And let's say I want to add little snapper, and yeah, we'll just leave it at that. We'll add little snapper for now. So I've hit, I add a little snapper, and I hit back, and now I'm done. That's it. So now the little snapper application that was there is going to go into that camera folder, and I've just cleaned up my desktop. Well, not really, because I, one application took the place of another, but you get the concept. Um, it does a little soft start here. And here we are. Now, inside my camera folder is my little snap, or yeah, a little snapper application. So, that's pretty much how Categories works. It's a way to keep your iPhone from being cluttered, um, from having a lot of junk on there. And another good feature about this is if I wanted to have a picture on my background, it doesn't have to be all, you know, taken over by all these icons, and I could actually utilize, and you know, the beautiful screen that the iPhone has, and just put one icon on each page if I really wanted to, so I could really see that picture. Um, but that is just a great app. I think you guys should check out. I believe it's a 10-day free trial through um, the Cedia, the Rock Store. Actually, I know it's the Rock Store. It's a 10-day free trial through the Rock Store. And um, after that, I believe it's $2.99. I don't know if I would exactly pay for it. I guess I'll have to see when the, you know, when the time comes. But um, for now, I like it a lot. Though, some other applications I will pay for when my free trial runs up is IntelliScreen. I love IntelliScreen. I can see everything I need to do without even opening up my phone. Um, it's kind of like an alerts and reminder app without you and IntelliScreen knowing because now I know the Cowboys are playing in Lambeau Field this weekend and I have therapy, my last therapy session, um, later on. Oh yeah, and you can also, all, all of IntelliScreen is you know intuitive, interactive I guess I would say. Um, you can tap it and you know things will load up. Here's my weather, I guess that's what I tapped when I hit that. But 
let me see that's about it hope you guys liked the video and uh let me know if you actually download this application and how you liked it talk to you later bye